Do you guys sometimes freak out because whatever you say starts to appear on your Facebook or Instagram timelines? I mean, I was talking about a wireless mouse and bang, the very same night I was bulldozed with computer mouse ads. After learning through such experiences, now I am in a position to claim that our phones are always spying on us. But now, what if I tell you that you might start seeing ads on whatever you are thinking inside your head? Yes, that is pretty much a possibility because Meta, the biggest data-driven company has found a way to read what is happening inside a human brain. But how? As I always say, come along to find out. In October, Meta released a paper on AI systems that can analyze a person's brainwaves and predict what that person is seeing. And you know what was the real banger? They were able to do this in real time. Now, what does this suggest? One side of it says that it is the death of privacy, but the other shows promise for the people with disabilities. It appears that these days, every major technological innovation raises more more questions than answers. We're not quite yet at the capabilities of Minority Report, but reading brainwaves and interpreting what people are thinking is a step in that direction. But we need to stop there, because Meta is not the only one working on such endeavors. The University of Texas at Austin has developed a non-invasive language decoder that can reconstruct continuous language from perceived speech, imagined speech, and silent videos. The device is called a semantic decoder and works by analyzing non-invasive brain recordings through functional magnetic resonance imaging. The decoder reconstructs what a person perceives or imagines into continuous natural language. The researcher found that their decoder could be trained to reconstruct continuous language, including the general gist of stories, and in some cases, exact words and phrases. However, the technique cannot detect individual words, but only the potential meanings of sequences of words. The most up-to-date version of this decoder was able to use brain activity to accurately describe some of the content, but sometimes it struggled with certain aspects, including pronouns. Now, let me try to explain this bottleneck in more scientific terms. The major limitation is its temporal resolution, or in other words, how quickly it captures changes in brain activity. The blood oxygen level dependent signal that fMRI measures is super slow. It takes about 10 seconds to rise and fall in response to neural activity. Humans normally say 2-4 to four words per second, and by no means fMRI sounds like a feasible approach, but they decided not to give away what they had achieved and started trying to fix the issue. In pursuit of a revolution, they employed an encoding model, which predicted how the brain responds to natural language. To train the model, they monitored brain responses as participants listened to 16 hours of spoken narrative stories. By extracting semantic features and applying linear regression, they developed a precise model for the brain's reactions to different word sequences. Essentially, this model underwent training with over 15 hours of data per individual, capturing their brain activity within an MRI scanner and generating the corresponding narrative. The intriguing aspect is that, to ensure grammatical and structurally sound decoded words, the researchers integrated a Generative Neural Network Language Model or Generative AI. For this purpose, they made use of GPT-1. This model adeptly predicts the most probable words to follow in a given sequence. However, facing numerous potential word sequences, individually generating and evaluating each one would be impractical. This is where an ingenious algorithm known as Beam Search comes into play. Don't get exhausted, I'll tell you what it essentially does. It starts with probable sentences, refining predictions as it identifies new words. In a test scenario, hearing apple led to the sequences like I consumed a fruit. By overcoming fMRI limitations, the system was trained on three individuals, decoding brain responses to new stories accurately. Interestingly, diverse brain regions redundantly encode language, ensuring preservation of language abilities even if one region is damaged. The system successfully decoded imagined speech, hinting at broader applications cross-modal decoding surprised researchers, predicting word descriptions even without spoken language, marking a significant non-invasive advancement in brain-computer interfaces, though improvements in motor features and participant feedback are noted. That was all about the underdogs. Let us now see what's cooking inside Meta's research centers. It was October 18, 2023, when Meta pushed even further. Instead of using fMRI, which has a resolution range of one data point every few seconds, Meta used MEG technology another non-invasive neuroimaging technique that can take thousands of brain activity measurements per second. Making use of this technology, they developed an artificial intelligence system proficient in deciphering visual representations within the brain. This system can operate in real time, reconstructing images perceived and processed by the brain at any given moment based on ongoing brain activity. At its core, the system consists of three components, an image encoder, a brain encoder, and an image decoder. Training the AI involved using a public dataset 
of MEG recordings obtained from healthy volunteers in Meta's research. Interestingly, it was observed that brain signals exhibit optimal alignment with contemporary computer vision AI systems like Dino V2. This AI underwent self-supervised learning, autonomously acquiring knowledge of imagery without human labels. Meta asserts that self-supervised learning enables AI systems to develop representations similar to the brain. The artificial neurons in the algorithm activate in a manner similar to physical neurons in the human brain when exposed to the same image, showcasing a functional alignment. This alignment can be leveraged to guide the generation of images resembling those perceived by participants in the scanner. But are such technologies safe? Well, envisioning the future of brain-reading technology is a formidable task, but its potential impact is immense. For example, it could benefit individuals who are mentally conscious but unable to communicate verbally. Expanding on this idea, picture a scenario where a smartphone's volume of notifications and music selection adapt to a user's mood or brain activity. Imagine smartphones and other devices giving answers to queries asked using thoughts alone. I mean, I thought controlling Apple's Vision Pro by just tapping two fingers was cool, but this is simply bonkers. But there is another bottleneck. It is a term called dark neurons. They are a histological artifact characterized by the presence of contracted, intensely stained neurons. They can be produced by post-mortem manipulation, trauma in brain tissue, or prolonged and intense exposure to unfavorable factors. While they were initially considered as a sign of neurotoxicity, it has been suggested that they may also represent a protective mechanism or a mode of death. Dark neurons can be distinguished from degenerating neurons with experience and proper fixation techniques. They are not a normal part of the brain tissue and are considered an artifact. The bottleneck lies in the fact that they might cover up to 90% of a human brain in certain cases, and they can hinder both fMRI and other measurement techniques. Meta is truly not the only one trying to know what is going on inside your brain. Let me introduce Sense, a startup affiliated with Alphabet's X division, which has been working on a fascinating project since 2020. The company is currently developing earbuds with the remarkable capability to capture human brain signals. These earbuds hold promise for monitoring and diagnosing conditions like epilepsy, depression, and sleep disorders. They can detect seizures, evaluate the effectiveness of medications, enhance deep sleep, and provide valuable insights for a comprehensive brain assessment. While brain scanning technology has a long way to go, it's evident that we are at the nascent stage of a new era in understanding the human brain thanks to generative AI. The side of things we just discussed is truly fascinating, but let me tell you, the other side is darker than you can imagine. The cumulative effect of such technology could lead to a privacy catastrophe. Consider the possibilities of companies like Meta or Google gaining access to information about what you're looking at or even your thoughts, enabling them to refine their advertising targeting or influence public opinion. The evolution of this technology over the next 30 years remains uncertain, raising concerns, especially with Meta's involvement in the era reminiscent of Minority Report. Despite the potential risks, achieving true mind reading or telepathy would require overcoming numerous challenges, including increasing accuracy and resolution, understanding the tone, emotion, and contextual nuances of thoughts, and enabling two-way communication. True telepathy, however, remains firmly rooted in fiction, and many argue that it might continue to be. The rapid advancement of mind-reading technologies, particularly in brain-computer interfaces, raises concerns about potential misuse and unfair treatment of individuals with disabilities or unique neurological readings. The invasive nature of these technologies may compromise autonomy and cognitive liberty, leading to feelings of paranoia, anxiety, or distrust. It emphasizes the importance of open dialogue and public discourse to ensure diverse perspectives are considered in the development and implementation of mind-reading AI technologies, highlighting the need for ethical considerations and safeguards against unintended consequences. Subscribe to Inavella for more blues from the world of AI. I have made another video discussing Project QSTAR, which was an AI dubbed as a creature by its own creator. Was this project the reason why Sam Altman was fired from OpenAI? Click on the video link popping up to find out.